President Irfan Ali has walked back on his announcement of $200,000 cash grant for every household. He had made the initial announcement last week in the National Assembly. In the wake of that announcement, analysts said that the government couldn't define a household. On Wednesday night, President Ali took to the areas to announce a change in his initial plan. And tens of thousands have publicly expressed their welcoming of these measures, particularly in relation to the announcement of a one-off cash grant of $200,000 to every household in Guyana. Several persons, families, have indicated to my government the complications they foresee in the implementation of this much welcome benefit and a fear of being left, uh, left out. And people would have been left out. Former Finance Minister Winston Jordan had made this point on Nation Watch program last week. He had described the $200,000 cash grant as a lazy approach rather than targeting those who really need it. You're going to have huge problems with the implementation and huge complaints, right? To avoid this problem that, that, that is inherent in this issue about households, they should step back and say, listen, are you listening? They indeed got problems with this question about household. We are going to be given, as I suggested on Thursday morning on Camps TV, $100,000 to Guyanese residents, Guyanese adult Guyanese residents. That is easier. Obviously, President Ali was listening. That instead of the one-off cash grant of $200,000 to every household previously announced, my government will now expand this benefit by providing a one-off cash grant of $100,000 to every citizen of Guyana 18 years and above as of the 1st of January 2024. The requirement to collect the cash grant would be a valid passport or a national identification card. Jordan had also said that many people, especially those who need the money, would have been excluded. These would have been the people in senior citizens' homes, the night shelters, and even the pavement dwellers.